only way I'm being able to get this off is use my DeWalt multi-tool. <laughs> That's what the top of this is looking like. So we're going to have tons of sanding, tons of extreme body work up here. Lots of holes as I'm going down these edges. Where's my edge? Where's my edge? See how there's... I'm going to not be able to smell. There it is. Just cracks and holes at every single seam. We're going to have to totally fill all that up. We have a crease in the tin here. It's going over one of the ribs. Normally I would just use a suction cup, pop it back out, tap it around the edges and fix it. But here, I've drilled holes, run screws in them. I'm gonna use a straight edge and pop them out. That's crazy. What's she doing? Still fixing a dent. Still? The one that I made the hole in or a different no, one? No, no, that's, uh, that's, that's like, over here. I, you did really, really good. Here. Now this is where we pulled that crease out. <clears throat> Can't even tell. It's looking amazing. It's still got another low spot here. Still looking great. The whole top looks so much better. Oh, P.S. I had given up, people. I don't do that. I don't give up. But this is some kind of a tar. I was able to get it off in the front and over here in the corner. But once I got there, every 10 seconds, I was filling up a sanding pad with just this tarry mess. And that would have taken me hundreds of dollars to remove all that. So we just decided to, opt to leave it. I did go over the very tops of it, just knock it off the best I could. But since we're putting some kind of a, what's that stuff called? We're thinking about bed liner. Bed liner or? There's some bed liners you can add color to. So we gotta do a little bit of research. We'll let you know what we came up with. But it's only between this spot and that spot. So nobody will ever see it other than when we do some skybird shots. Okay, you guys bear with me. I'm gonna attempt to do this left-handed. Um, you know how many hours I told you I worked on this stuff the other day up here on top of the ceiling? It's some kind of a trailer house topping that's like a tarry kind of crap or whatever I sanded that one tiny section for over half of a day. I just poured this airplane stuff on here it's been sitting for less than five minutes and oh gracious look how it just comes right on off down to the middle so check it out it's Corey just found me a metal one going through the plastic ones like absolute crazy but definitely loving the airplane stuff just don't get it on you guys, it burns to high health. Anyway, save some time. Do it this way instead. After much confrontation in the talks of building a wall, I got through. You got through the wall. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so here's nasty as I thought it was going to be. Still pretty gross, but there was a lot of bolts holding that bad boy on there. Mads, done? Y yet another barn meal. And that's how you do it. You get your, your potatoes, and then you dip it in the crumbs. The Long John Silver's crumbs. And then you dip it in the gravy. And then you and drink then you the gravy. Re-dip. Re-dip it in the crumbs. See? Now drink the gravy? No, I don't want to eat it. Part means head toe. Nutritious yet filling. Uh, the top of these little trailers tend to hold water a little bit, and there's uh, three seams up there. Uh, today we're putting this Raptor uh, bed liner kit on the top. This is the clear kit, so we can add the peach colored paint to it to make it match. I'm certain it will be amazing.
This is the four liter kit. I'm certain I won't need that much just for the top of the trailer. What, uh, I believe you put 15 ounces of your paint and it's a four to one ratio on the Raptor hardener. If you're supposed to mix it in the bottle, but I don't think there's enough room, so I'm going to mix it outside and put it back. And uh, you spray it at uh, 50 to 70 PSI, depending on the texture you want. Alright guys, we're about to spray the top with what's called Raptor. The reason we chose this one is it's tintable to the exact same paint color as what's on the rest of the trailer. I want my top knot, which we've used a low profile, to disappear. We're painting it as well. There are so many pinholes up here, as you remember, as we're painting. Let me see if I can show you a few. See, just as you go along, they're kind of everywhere. So instead of doing all the body work that we can't get to, this is what we've opted for. Also, there was another liner already on it. And the texture is horrendously nasty. We just started. This is what it's looking like. It's got a lot of texture to it. It comes with its own little spray gun. It's kind of a rubber sealant. Yeah, the color looks awesome! Yay! We've totally taped up the entire trailer. The stuff that's on it, it's going to be a mess. The overspray is nasty. I'm sure we're going to do a couple of coats. Not bubbles. <laughs> Disgustingness. But we haven't caught one fly yet. Hey guys, I want to give y'all a total finished product overlook. We'll do it from bird's eye view because that's who's going to be seeing this. Nobody from the ground can actually see it. It has some pros and some cons. The cons are tape, 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 tape. Every entire side we had splashes and spills all the way to the ground when we did it. So tape the snot out of front, back, corner, side, everything. This is the messiest stuff you've ever messed with. Also, this teeny tiny amount of space literally took him two and a half to three hours to complete to get two, two coats and then a half of a coat before we ran out. This was three jugs of it. Um, it has some absolutely wonderful things to it as well. I love that it's tintable and it matches to a T. From when you're on the ground, you literally cannot tell the difference. Even though there's texture in here from, from there, can't see it. It's absolutely awesome. Covering up all the tiny pinholes that we had, it did it. It was awesome. Even though it looks like those holes are not filled into the tiny grooves, it's still down in there. But we went over it and over and over it. You cannot fill them completely. So we are still going to go back and silicone, silicone the seams. But I did want you to see how it covered, really, I'm trying to get as close as I can, it covered every tiny space and it's kind of got a hard, crunchy texture to it that it's, it's going to be really hard to wash, I think, but I think it's going to do its purpose and keep the rain out, which that's all we're worried about. I also sprayed the, um, the vent, I did a low profile. I didn't want it to show or stand out really. So we, we sprayed it with it also so that it would blend. And from the ground, looks incredible. I'll show you. 